Hello Internet! Today you are going to learn how to call a function from Unity in JavaScript and also how to call a function from JavaScript in Unity. So, let's get started. So here I start with the simple scene. As you can see, I got several buttons and also a text. And I created two panels, one for Unity to JS and then another one is for the JS to Unity. So I have created the game manager script to manage uh, the behavior of all our contents inside this game. So we are going to start with Unity calls JS function first. So the first button is going to prompt an alert to our web browser with some text with some message. And the second one is going to prompt an alert to our web browser with a message that is provided by a parameter. And then the third one is we are going to return an integer from JS function and then display it to our text over here. And for the fourth one, we are going to return a string from JS function and then display it to our text over here. So I have assigned a listener to each button that's going to call a functions from our JS script. And this button is going to call one of these methods over here. Now in order to call JavaScript function from Unity, we need to create a plugin that is the JavaScript library rjslib. Now to create jslib, basically you need to create a file that has an extension of jslib. In Unity, the jslib file must contain these lines of code. Basically, it tells Unity to include this library to our project. Now instead that you can create your functions. The function body goes like this. This part is the function name, and this part is how you create a function in such as lib. And inside this parenthesis, you can add your parameter to your function. And between this curly bracket is your codes. Now in this case, we are going to alert our web browser with this message over here. You can also add basic JavaScript code or you want to call your own JavaScript function inside this function. Now if you want to create a multiple function, you must separate them with comma after each function you have created. If you want to return primitive value like integer, double, float, or character, you can just uh, return it just like this. But if you want to return a string, it's quite different. You need to allocate a memory by size of a length by UTF-8 of your string. This one over here is a spare memory for a new character of this string. And then you need to convert the string to UTF-8 car set. In this case, we are going to convert the string and then convert and pass it to this buffer. Then we return the buffer and basically we successfully return a string. To add our JSLib to our Unity project, we need to create a folder called plugins and then place our JSLib inside it. Because we are going to use our plugin for WebGL platform, we need to check this one and then hit apply. And basically if you want to call JavaScript function from Unity or C -Sharp, we need to call the JSLib function that we have already created. To call them, we need to import it first to our script. So the way to import them is to use this attribute that is provided by this library, the system runtime interrupt services. And then we need to follow the term of our JSLib function. The return type and the name of the function that we are going to import must match with the return type and the function name from our JSLib file that we have created. And also that rule apply to the parameter. And then after that, we can just call those functions. And then to test it, you need to build it to WebGL. And as you know, if you build it to WebGL, you got the index.html. Now if you call a function from your JavaScript file, you just need to embed your JavaScript file in the index.html just like in general way. As you can see, I have opened my game and let's test it out. So the first one is the alert function. As you can see, we have an alert that has a message of Unity to JS alert. And then the second one is also an alert but with a parameter. And as you can see, it has a message of parameter that I passed. Then we also have the written integer. 
and as you can see we have written value of 100 and 100 is the value that I set and then last but not least is the return string as you can see we have written a string that says this is a string written by JS alright now how we can call a function from unity in JavaScript so uh, we are going to use the game manager script again that is attached to this game object called game manager and I have created two functions a public function and basically if you want to call a function from C -sharp or unity in JavaScript you need to declare them as public function so in this first function is basically we are going to display this string that says value changes by GS and then the second one basically we are going to display a string that is a parameter so we are going to call a function from unity in JavaScript in this case we are going to call them by writing some JavaScript codes directly in the index.html from our game build and before we go through that there are several things that are worth to mention so this line over here basically is going to instantiate your game instance and assign it to this variable over here and then this container over here that has an idea of game container is going to be the container of your game instance so basically when unity instantiate your game then it's going to be placed at this container and this line over here basically when on click it's going to call this game instant that full screen function and basically this function is going to set your game into full screen mode now you can edit this index.html to be your own template and based on your need so i'm going to do that Alright, so I have added my index.html and basically I just added these two buttons over here and this button is going to call my JavaScript functions and I also added my game container to be inside this container over here and basically this container is going to set uh, the game view or the game container to be all center aligned and I also gave my button some styles so my index.html turns like this so here is an on click event to each buttons and those buttons will call one of these functions over here so the way how you call a function from unity in javascript is to use the game instant variable and then call the send message function and then basically you pass the parameters so you need to send message to a game object that has a function that you desire to call in this case we are going to call a function from game object called game manager and then we call a function name set file from gs and if you pass multiple parameters for your function you need to make a kind of in csv or comma separated value format uh, for example so this is in a CSV format and basically in C sharp code you need to split them so you can retrieve each of this parameter. And that is how you call a function from C sharp in JavaScript by using send message function. Alright, so let's test our code. So for the first one we are going to send a message to Unity to set this text to be the string that we are set in this function. So let's test it. So as you can see we have changed the text to string that says value change by the GS and this is a static string that we set and then the second one is just like the first one but it is a parameter as you can see we pass a string that says this is a passive parameter and that's pretty much about this video I hope you learned something new and I will see you next time